Welcome to this Survival Systems International LRRS Operational Guide. This program outlines the following areas. System Overview LRRS Lock Confirmation Lowering Boat for Waterborne Release of LRRS for Drill Purposes LRRS Reset and Lifeboat Recovery After Drill Emergency Release Offload Emergency release onload. Preparation for maintenance. System overview. The Survival Systems International Lifeboat Release and Retrieval System, LRRS, allows release of the hook even when the craft is waterborne or suspended. The Whitaker LRRS system consists of Lifeboat release hook. The coxswain's release handle assembly. The release hook operating cable. LRRS lock confirmation. The Survival Systems International LRRS has several mechanical devices to secure the system in a locked condition. This is confirmed by a visual indicator. When in the closed, locked position, the locked pin for the hook is fully inserted and is supporting the locking arm. The safety pin is fitted, securing the release handle, preventing activation. Lowering boat for waterborne release of LRRS for drill purposes. Crew training drills are essential for the safe and effective use of the Survival Systems International, LRRS. Check that the hook is fully closed. Confirm there are no obstacles present below the lifeboat. Lower lifeboat to just above the water. Start the engine and lower the lifeboat to the water. Normal offload release procedure, lifeboat waterborne. Remove the safety pin from the release handle assembly. Pull the release handle to its full extent. The lifeboat will be released from the full wire. Proceed to sail away. LRRS Reset and Lifeboat Recovery In order to recover and stow the lifeboat, the LRRS must be reset before attempting a lift. A minimum of three crew members is recommended for hook resetting. When reconnecting the release hook, wear appropriate PPE and keep hands and fingers clear. Failure to reset the release hook correctly and completely may cause the lifeboat to drop which could result in serious injury or death. To reset the release system, rotate the hook fully back to the closed position. Rotate locking arm until the arrows align. Push locking pin lever until locking pin drops into the hole. Return the release handle to its closed position. Reinsert the safety pin into the release handle assembly. Introduce the master link to the release hook. Confirm the safety gate is fully closed. Confirm the master link is properly engaged. Proceed to hoist lifeboat and cease hoisting when just clear of the water. Confirm the release handle and safety pin is in the correct position. Confirm the safety gate is closed. Confirm the master link is properly engaged. Ensure that all hatches and doors are shut and secure. Hoist the lifeboat back to its stowed position. Refer to the lifeboat's operation manual for further procedures to be undertaken following a recovery. Emergency release offload. If the lifeboat is waterborne, but the release handle has failed to open the hook, an emergency offload release of the lifeboat can be performed. First, confirm the lifeboat is actually waterborne, with no load on the fall wire. Attach ratchet bar to square end of the hook shaft. Ratchet the bar upwards and continue to do so until the hook opens. The lifeboat will be released from the fall wire. Proceed to sail away. 
If the ratchet bar procedure is not successful, the final option is to release the master link by hand. Using extreme caution, locate the release hook from the hatch on the roof. Carefully depress the retainer and manually release the master link from the throat of the hook. Proceed to sail away. Emergency release onload. If the lifeboat is not fully waterborne, stuck at some height above the water, and the release handle has failed to open the hook, an emergency onload release can be performed. However, performing an emergency release must be the decision of the coxswain or officer in charge and only taken with the full knowledge and understanding that serious injury to personnel and damage to the lifeboat can occur and should only be considered as the last chance of escape. Before performing an emergency release, confirm that the lifeboat is as close to the water as possible, that all crew and occupants are seated with their seat belts fastened, that there are no obstacles present under the lifeboat. Only after careful consideration of the potential consequences, take the following actions to release the lifeboat if suspended above the water. Attach ratchet bar to square end of the hook shaft. The coxswain should warn the crew prior to operating the ratchet bar. Ratchet the bar upwards and continue to do so until the hook opens. The lifeboat will be released from the full wire. Proceed to sail away once the lifeboat is waterborne. Preparation for maintenance. It must be emphasized that any maintenance work to be carried out on the Survival Systems International Lifeboat Release and Retrieval System must, repeat, must be done with the lifeboat weight fully transferred onto the hook lifting eye. All personnel to vacate the lifeboat prior to transferring weight onto the hook lifting eye. Before boarding the lifeboat, secure the maintenance pendant through the hook lifting eye. Prior to function testing of the release and retrieval system, pay off slack and remove fall wire ring or link from the throat of the hook to ensure that there is no weight on lifting hook assemblies. If a power umbilical is fitted, it must be manually disconnected before lowering the lifeboat and refitted upon completion of work. Important. Please refer to the Transocean Survival Systems International LRRS monthly operating instructions document for expanded maintenance information that must be used in conjunction with Transocean maintenance procedures.